All right. Getting unloaded. All the straps are in the box. It was a bit of a challenge to fold the tarps because it's pretty windy. Well, I actually did it over there. They brought me here to unload. But definitely learned something new. And um, it was a good workout. I am two days early with this load. I was scheduled on December 9th. 2020 and I'm here on December 7th um, they looked at me like what are you doing here <laughs> at the guard shack I said here I am I arrived fast and safe they gave it a thought and they said okay we'll accept you so here I am getting unloaded uh, the only thing is I don't have much time on my 70 hour clock, so we'll see what the DM says. Maybe I'll have to do a 30, 40, 34 hour reset here in uh, Cali. Peace. All right, here I am at the shipper after my 34 hour reset. Um, gotta use these V boards and gotta secure it, of course, and then tarp it going to New Mexico. Oh man, oh man. Whew. Tarp is done. Let's see how the wind handles it and how the road treats it. So I arrived early uh, to my destination. Um, I deliver tomorrow at uh, Los Lunas. I believe it's a Facebook data center. Um, so I arrived to a truck stop that is nearby and um, I will show you really quick what I'm gonna make in this instant pot. Yes, enjoy. Here, I'm not really sure what to press for quinoa, but um, I mean, I suppose it's rice so that's my guess and low pressure yeah we'll just wait and see i've cooked it before and uh, uh yeah i just press rice and um wait right here it says quinoa one minute one to one twenty-five. So I'll wait a few minutes and um, press cancel and look. That's my method. <laughs> so this was about ten minutes, and as you can see, if you can see <laughs> from my shadow, it's the way it's supposed to be. Broccoli, the that are almost going bad and I got some garlic here I put garlic and garlic and then I put two of these things and this is the label from those sausages. Um, this is a on occasion type of thing. Definitely don't promote eating this all the time. Um, fruits are the best. Raw fruits, raw vegetables, juicing is even better. And after a while, I throw some tomato sauce, some carrots, and I'll throw some greens in too. And this is the final, final outcome. It might look very unorganized to some people, but hey, on the road, 
by myself. You know, this is this is what it is. Something warm, vegan, and with much stuff. And another thing I wanted to mention is this uh, powder blend. I heard it. Um, I heard about it from John Kohler. He is. Um, he runs uh, OK Raw YouTube channel and a few others actually, and um, he is raw. And uh, he was saying that this is one of the things that he eats that is, that is not raw. So uh, with his advice, I got this off Amazon, and um, I really enjoy it. It's um, basically a blend of mushrooms, medicinal mushrooms, and. Um, I strongly recommend looking into benefits of uh, mushrooms. So I just sprinkled this on top of my meal here. Another thing I love to use is black salt. It is kind of reddish color, but it has many, many different minerals and it actually tastes like eggs. So um, check it out. I don't know if you tried this before, but it's very, very unique. It goes goes well with many foods. It is 8.40 in the morning. I am unstrapped, unsecured. Tarp is in the box. Very ready to get unloaded. There's one truck in front of me. And uh, I am at a Facebook data center in New Mexico. I guess they're building something new. More buildings for more data. I'm not even sure what this was or this is, but we arrived safely, ready for the next one. Here I am at my next pickup place or location also known as Shipper. Um, the name is Array Technologies. Um, there's a line. I gotta get in there. There's two trucks in front of me. There's actually more because one is coming out. So a forklift guy came in and told me to make some space because one is coming out of here. So I made some space for him waiting to get loaded. Um, I am set to go to Washington State. It's about 1200 miles. So, yep, yeah, let you know how it goes. All right, finally got loaded and uh, strapped down. These are some pieces for solar panels in Washington. I asked my DM about tarping uh, because all these sharp edges here and there's a bunch of bolts there so I just made sure double uh, asked them to double check if if this needs to be tarped so I got a message from my DM and uh, he or she I got a few actually right now um, they said that I do have to tarp this load so here comes the bungees and the tarps. It's a little sandy from uh, earlier today. Uh, so I just want you guys to see how I do my bungees. I do them like this. I used to do them like this. Um, so you basically put it in a hook here and then you just strap it down. Um, bungee it off like this so it would look you know, something like this but now uh, I spoke to one of the million milers Melton has and uh, he recommended to do this one of the reasons is so this hook does not scratch and puncture the tarp 
And actually I find out that it holds the tarp much better. Uh, this little upside down V. Um, I gotta put a strap here too so this doesn't flop around. So I'll put a strap and uh, anyway, yeah, that's my bungee job. Uh, so this is, uh, I don't think this is a good idea to do it like this. I'm not sure why orientation people don't suggest this method. Um, the only time you do something like this is when you don't have this D-hook or whatever it's called. This hook. Um, you would put a bungee like this, only in this little circle. That's the only time. If you're able to put it through this, I suggest doing it like that. All right, I got almost almost finished this side, and I got the other side now. All right, and here you have it. Finished tarp with a strap here, so it doesn't go wild. Everything is tight. Back could be a little bit better, but hey. I've had it with this load. And on this side, also, everything is neat and tight. It's very unorthodox load because these things are not even here. I'm sure you could see in the beginning of the video, but here we are. Got it done. I'm staying here, I'm staying the night here. I still have five hours driving uh, available, but I'll just stay the night and um, deliver this load on time on the 14th of December. Today's 11th. Yeah. Got my 30 minute break. Utah rest area. It's definitely beautiful and spectacular out west, but I don't think I would want to live here in this desert. We'll definitely need a truck wash after this trip. Got my anti-gel in. Got about 700 miles to go. We arrived at Loves, yet another Loves. I am about 600 miles away. I will get as close as I can tomorrow. Isn't it lovely? It's pretty cool, pretty cool.